After trialling my wireless microphones, I discovered that the input on the PC was very noisy and I was getting very poor sound quality out of it. Although it sounded okay in headphones when I was listening to it, um, listening to the playback of the recording you could hear a lot of noise in the background. And I'm not talking about noises from other equipment, I'm talking about uh, electrical noise. So I decided to get a better input interface for it. So I ordered from DJ City uh, this Euphoria UMC202 HD USB audio interface. Uh, this turned up uh, in a reasonable sort of time frame, cost around about $150. Um, so let's have a look at it. It's a Behringer brand and they give us a nice sticker. <laughs> We've got manuals and it looks like it's in multiple languages. Japanese, Chinese and this one's multi-language. English, Spanish, French, Dutch. I'm not sure what PT stands for. Here is USB cable. USB A to USB B. Got a little bit of length on it. Okay, so on the back side we've got our USB slot. We've got two outputs, a left and a right channel. And we've got the phantom power supply if you've got a microphone that requires it. 48 volt. And so nobody knocks it off, we've also got the locking point. On the front, we've got our two universal inputs. These take both um, a quarter inch jack like this one which is from the wireless microphone setup they also take the um, three pin cannon style plug which is good so that's a, a preamp through there and a second one here uh, according to what I've read online that's on your left channel that's on your right channel we have individual adjustments for the gain on each channel and we can select whether it's a line input, an instrument input, uh, I'm not sure what the pad's for, I'll have to have a read through the manual. And it's basically duplicated on both. We also have output, that output controls the output here. Direct monitor, this thing will actually generate audio from the computer through the USB as well as being an encoder so when the button is out uh, it will actually let you hear what's coming from the computer when the button is in it'll actually let you hear directly what's coming off the preamps we have a headphone slot at the front and it's controlled independently here uh, we have a power indicator and we also have the 48 volt present for these two. There is another model uh, up from this one, costs a bit more and also supports a uh, MIDI interface. But this one does what I need. Comes with drivers which you have to download from the internet. I've already downloaded them, they do say to uh, install the drivers before you plug it in, so I've already done that. So let's plug it in and see what it's like. Okay, so 
what we have is the power light. Turn this on, plug it in. And I guess the next thing I need to do is get my microphone. And uh, start setting it up. So as this thing picks up the signal from the microphone, we're getting a little green signal light. We can adjust the gain on it so that it's picked up more. I'm going to uh, switch to take audio from this now for this recording. Okay, so this is what it sounds like through the uh, new encoder. Um, as you can hear, this is just on the left channel. And, and when I plug it in over here, it's on the right hand channel straightforward when I talk I get a little signal light on the front uh, if I make the sound too loud it brings up a clipping light so yeah that's pretty much does what I want it to do so we'll see what this sounds like on our recordings and uh, I'll probably be using that in the future okay so that'll do for this video don't forget to click on subscribe uh, click on the like and don't forget to uh, change that bell so that you're notified as I release new videos catch you in the next video